All right, hitting y'all up with another Goosebumps. This one is a shocker on Shock Street, which is the first episode of season three. I want to say I'm not doing these in order. I'm just going through them as I go. But I'll never forget the the book cover for this. I had like this big ass praying mantis creature like coming down the street. Cool stuff. So let's see how this one holds up. A shocker on Shock Street. And viewer beware, you're in for a scare. I think the biggest scare for me is that how my life has turned out since this movie, <laughs> since this show that I used to enjoy so much. I don't know. That's like the real scare. So nice little Easter egg again, like right at the very beginning shot. We have these two friends, don't know their names yet, <laughs> some girl, some guy, and her father makes all the creature designs for this Shock Street. It's like a series of movies. So the Shock Street films. And they're going to be able to go on a tour. The first kids ever to be on a tour that takes them through the studio and even lets them walk down Shock Street. And right at the beginning, we see a few of the masks from The Haunted Mask, which is pretty cool. And Marty is the boy. So Aaron and Marty are their names. And they're looking through the whole room here with all the props that Aaron's father makes for these movies. Some cool looking stuff. Uh, and there's some werewolf head that they're looking at and then it comes to life. And uh, then the hand of the werewolf starts grabbing uh, Aaron's hand and they start freaking out. And that's one thing with this this whole series and the books is that not really with the books, but like here with the, sh with the show. Before the first commercial break, something always happens. And then when it comes back, it's, it's a prank. <laughs> or it's just like something like not terrible happening to them. It's just a f cheap fake out. It, they do it in almost every single episode of this. So it's so formulaic, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Now, I remember most of this one. And... He ends up show the father ends up showing them a little model tram car, and saying that you guys are going to be the first to um, ride the Shock Street Studios tour, and they ask they ask um, well not they Marty is a friend, but uh, Aaron here asks if mom can come, and he the father looks very unnerved at that, and he's just like no absolutely not it'll be only you two kids that are writing this and this plays into something at the end so they get in the tram to start their uh, little tour here their tour ride and the father says to them no matter what do not get out of the tram car but I mean they're kids like telling that to them is basically saying get out of the tram car and go wherever you want <laughs> so that's basically what happens and it's a cool looking tour they get, like, the shit scared out of them a few times. It's like, props and uh, made-up dummies of monsters and stuff are moving around and electrocuting some other puppet or whatever. Some cool stuff. And then the tram stops. And what do they do? They don't stay in the goddamn tram. They get out. <laughs> and Marty says, after she warns him, says, Dad said don't get out of the tram. He said, well, he probably doesn't, uh, didn't expect it to break down. And they get out of the tram and try to find help. So they're walking around, and they have one of those cool-ass, like, optical illusion tunnels that's, like, lit brightly green, brightly green, whatever. It's green. That's all you need to know. There's green light in this little tunnel. But, like, one of those optical illusions that, like, it looks like it goes on forever, but it doesn't. Cool. Like, they know what they're doing with this tour. So they make it to actual shop, uh, shop street. <laughs> yeah, shop street. Get all your shopping needs here at Shocker Street Studios. They make it to Shock Street, and they're walking around. And I notice there's like little benches, but they're shaped like mushrooms. I don't know. Maybe these uh, Shock Street movies are like so bad they're good, and it would be a great idea to eat some mushrooms before watching some of these movies. I don't know. Why have these random mushrooms here? 
they were opening doors and some of these doors you open and it looks like it's a portal to another world like there's just they open one and there's like thunder and lightning and stuff that and that's all they can see like maybe maybe it is a you know alternate dimension or some shit that they can walk into but they don't try they shut that shit right away but probably just a tv screen like behind the door but you never know like with the the twists that we get at the end of this never know and the father did um specifically tell them do not walk down shock street and again just like getting out of the tram car they just start fucking gallivanting around all over shock street and checking stuff out and she keeps being very weary saying that we shouldn't be here we shouldn't be walking around so who knows they really know how to put the shock in shock street because then they walk into this other place and there's this like creature that grabs marty against the uh, an electrified fence and he gets the shit shocked out of him (laughs) And he falls to the ground, and immediately he's fine. He's just like, yeah, I guess so, I'm fine. But, yeah, he gets the shit shocked out of him. Oh, that's right. Also, the father, before they started the ride, the tour here, he said, if for any reason you're in trouble, here's these laser guns. (laughs) How ridiculous that is. Here's these laser guns to protect yourself. And right before they took off, they're like, what, if we're in danger or what? Like, no idea what's ahead of them here. But he gives them laser guns. Is that supposed to do something? Because it doesn't really do anything here. And then we find this fish head creature, which looks pretty cool. Like, it has a cool design to him. And we see Aaron's father watching with a few other employees the surveillance cameras and keeping track of where the kids are so there's something nefarious going on here i don't know i mean there's never twists in these things so looking to see where it goes and then Aaron's father comes out onto shock street and finds the kids and dun 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 the twist the kids are robots that were created by the father who would have saw that coming and then with a little foreshadowing from earlier, saying when uh, Aaron asks the father if mom can come on the ride, he says here, he's like, something went wrong with them, the wires must have crossed, and I started to think something was wrong when they started talking about a mother. And obviously, they don't have a mother. They're robots that were created to test this tour ride and make sure that it's safe for other kids. And so the father is working on Aaron and Marty Robot 2.0 <laughs> to try to make them better than the first versions. And the first versions come alive somehow. I mean, he said he deactivated them. Somehow they, de- they reactivated themselves? I guess? Fuck it, let's go with it. And they start saying, like, yeah, but we want to be alive. Like, we don't like being deactivated. And the dialogue here is so cringy. And Marty's like, yeah, we don't like that. We don't like that at all. And they're like, all things must live. All things want to live. And, like, we are out for revenge. And then they just walk towards the father. And that's the end. So this was a short one. There's not much to say about this. It's basically just the twist that they're robots. It's, like, pretty much the whole thing here. Besides that, they're just walking around the studio. But... I remember liking the book, and like I said, I'll never forget the big-ass praying mantis machine or whatever it is on the cover of the book. Wish we saw that in this episode, but, I mean, with the budget that this show had and stuff, they're not going to be able to pull that off. So, fun little episode, Shocker on Shock Street, and uh, wherever you guys are from, hoping you're having a great morning, afternoon, or night, and I will talk to you all soon. Take care, guys.